Hey guys, it's Lydia here, and for today's video, I'm going to be taking you through a beginner or intermediate or advanced leg workout. So, I decided to put together this leg workout. It's actually pretty straightforward, and like there's a lot of what you might call easier moves. However, this workout can either be done with body weight or with weights, and when you add weights, it's really easy to make it beginner or advanced because it just depends on how heavy a dumbbell you have. So this workout is going to be beginner, but I'm going to be using some dumbbells and you know if you're more of intermediate advanced, you want to make it harder, just grab some heavier dumbbells and this will still burn. Besides dumbbells, I don't think we'll need anything else. Maybe some resistance bands. Um, in some of the glute bridges and stuff like that, but if you don't have those, you don't necessarily like it's not essential for you to have them so this can be a total no equipment workout if you don't have equipment and it will just be a little bit easier okay so without further ado let's dive in i want you to start by just doing some knee hugs Ooh, losing my balance so just pull your knee into your chest and squeeze feeling that stretch in your low back your glutes good we have a nice warm up for you today so important to warm up before the workout. Alrighty, last one. Now step your feet nice and wide. And let's just do some side lunges. Nice deep lunge, feeling that stretch in your inner thigh. So for this workout today, we have, we're just gonna do one move three times and then we're done with that move. So it's gonna be straight sets the entire workout. We have about like, I don't think 10 moves in total, maybe like eight, seven or eight moves in total. It's gonna be fun. Alrighty, now switch to this kind of lunge. You're gonna do a lunge, then push, stretch out your hamstring. Lunge, straighten that front leg to hamstring. Really nice to open up your hip flexors. When your hip flexors are open, then you can really make sure that you're engaging your glutes because if your hip flexors are tight it's really hard to fully engage your glutes and fully get that squeeze already switch sides lunge and hamstring sides a bit more tight for me it's okay if you need if you can't fully straighten your leg and you're just right here and knees still bent that's okay the goal is just to kind of get the muscles warmed up, and if you're not quite at that level where you can fully straighten your leg, that's totally okay. Alrighty, so now I want you to come up, let's just give me some squats. And this is just a really basic move, but it's going to warm up your whole leg. We're working quads, your glutes. Come up, squeeze at the top, and get kind of that glute activation started already. Great job. Feeling that squeeze at the top. Alrighty, finally, let's just do big knee circles. And then we'll dive into our first circuit. Great job, just a big half circle rainbow shape with your knee. Squeeze your abs here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, the first move we have is a three pulse chair squat. So, feet are either together or like maybe a couple inches apart. And you're just gonna come down like you're sitting in a chair, pulls three times, and come up. Really using your glutes and your quads. And like I said, if you wanna add that weight, you absolutely can. It's gonna be a three pulse, remember that? And we go in two, one, let's go. One, two, three, stand and squeeze. We engage those glutes at the top on for 30, 30 seconds with a 15 second break in between. Three, 
two and one. Great job. So body weight or with weight, either way, I really wanna make sure that you're sitting, squeezing in that tension, all right? Three, two, one, let's go. And if you don't have weights available to you but you wanna make this harder, what you can do is just hold it and continue to pulse the entire time, okay? So if you need an option where it's harder, go for that, okay? Or you can do it with the weight like I just did. <laughs> Seven seconds left. Three, two, and one. Whew. Go up and wait if you can. The last round. We go in five seconds. Alrighty, let's go. One, two, three. Stand and squeeze or just hold it. And wanna make sure abs are in tight, back is flat. Squeeze those glutes at the top. You're halfway, 15 seconds left. Come on guys, five more seconds. You can do this and relax. Whew. All right, move number one, done. Next we have a glute bridging with, glute bridging? A glute bridge with two abductions. So if you have those resistance bands, you can grab them and basically push up into a glute bridge, open close your legs two times and then come down. And again, if you have weight and you want to use it, you're absolutely welcome to. Okay, we go in 15 seconds. And if you don't have super heavy dumbbells, you can use two, like I'm doing. But we go in five seconds. All right, let's go. Push up, open, close, open, close, come down. And again, if you want to make this harder but you don't have weight, stay up here the whole time and just open close your legs. Okay? And again, you can do those abductions even without a glute resistance band. They won't burn as much, but you can still get a good workout in. You have five seconds left. Come on, guys. And relax. Just breathe. And just chill here or if you want to go up and wait if you're using weight go for that we go in three two one let's go push up open close if you have that band I want to make sure that you're really opening wide you're not doing this big baby pump and also that you're keeping your glutes high you're not letting them fall like this okay they're being pushed to the ceiling open close open close and then down you have 10 seconds left. Come on guys, keep pushing. Open, close, feel that squeeze. And relax. All right. You wanna go up a little bit and wait? Go for it. Here we go in three, two, one. Come on up. Abduction, two of them. You push up, really good squeeze. Don't let your hips drop, keep them lifted and squeezed in as you open and close. The tension is not dropped on those abductions, okay? You have 10 seconds left. Five, come on guys, you can do this and relax. Whew. Oh my goodness. Okay, felt the burn on that one. <laughs> All right, so the next move we just have is a one leg glute bridge. So this one is great because it can be done without weight um, and it still burns like crazy. And if you want, if this is really hard, just do regular glute bridges, okay? But we're gonna do left and then right and then we will alternate on the final round, okay? We go in five seconds. Starting with your left foot or right foot, and let's go. Lift up and down. If you want to add a weight, you can. I think I'm going to do that. 
just to challenge myself a bit more. It's only 30 seconds on this leg. So if you can challenge yourself to go up and wait, do that. And if you need to do regular glute bridges, that's fine. Or maybe a staggered version. So this toe is on the ground, but most of the weight is in the heel. That's okay. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, other leg now. In 10 seconds. But if you need that modification, it would just be this toe is on the ground. So there's a little bit of weight in this leg, but it's not a lot. Okay, let's go. That's a really good modification. If the one leg is just killing you, go for the staggered option. It's, it's harder than a regular glute bridge, but it's easier than a total one leg. 15 seconds left. After this, we alternate. Hamstrings, glutes are on fire. For five more seconds. Exhale on the way up. And relax. Whew. Hamstrings. Okay. Now we alternate. You can do this. In three, two, one. Let's go. So it's just one leg being pushed off. You can do this. Don't let your body sway. Everything is centered. And if you have to bring that foot to center, switch. Make sure it's centered. That's okay. Seven more seconds. Three, two, and one. Oh, that was a fun one. Honestly, I will oftentimes won't do weight for the one leg, but I'm glad I challenged myself. <laughs> I'm feeling strong. Alrighty, now we have a reverse lunge to a jump squat, or if you do not want to jump, it's just squat to heel raise, okay? So reverse lunge, coming up, squat, jump, or just heel lift. And this is also something you can do with a weight. It's gonna burn if you do it with a weight. I'm gonna try it. Start with a 15, see how I'm feeling. But we go in seven seconds, alternating legs. Okay, let's go. And if you're using that weight, be careful. Don't push yourself too far. You know, know your limits, it can be really easy. With using weight, legs, it's like, oh, I can go up. Be careful especially with jumping. Now five more seconds. Jumping or not, weight or not, and relax. Okay, so now, you might have guessed it. We're just gonna stick to one leg now. Make it a bit harder, okay? So I'm doing, I guess if you're mirroring me, we're doing our right, and let's go. Lunge, jump squat. Same leg. Come on, guys, it's only 30 seconds. You can do this. You're already halfway there. 15 seconds left. Oh, this burns. Come on, guys. Five more seconds. Really push off and relax. That burns. Doing it on one leg, that isolation burns so much. All right, other leg, let's go. And again, if you don't feel comfortable jumping today, you're right here, okay? Heels are lifted. Especially if you're doing weight but you're not comfortable jumping with the weight, you're just right there. Squat, heel, lift. more seconds. Come on guys. And relax. Whew, these circuits fly by. Whew. That was definitely got my heart rate up though. Okay. So this next one, you can pull out medium to light resistance band. We're going to do crab walk to a kneeling squat. 
crab walk to the side, kneel, come up, other side, okay? I think I'm gonna use my light, and weight is optional, resistance band is optional. Great job. Whew. We go in three, two, and one, let's go. Take two or three steps one way, kneel down, and then two or three steps the other way. Resistance band on that kneeling squat really does change things. Ten seconds. Come on, guys. Three, two, and one. Burned. We're loving it though. Just breathe. You can chill on your knees if you need to. Stretch out your quads. And let's go. See if you can switch the leg that you go down on now. So if you notice, first round you were always going down on one leg. Now switch it. Okay? And if you're not sure which leg that was, whichever leg was your like the one you go to first do the other one <laughs> okay you have seven seconds left push those knees out and relax oh my goodness this burns you can do this we're strong we got this three two and one let's go Five seconds left. Come on, guys. I know it burns. You got this, though. And relax. Ooh, shake it out. Okay. Now we have bear abductions. So this one's a fun one. In a bear position, like so, knees off the ground. You're gonna tap a foot out, tap it in. Tap a foot out, tap it in. With the resistance band on, making sure that your knee and your foot are together. They're not going like this where your foot's out here, your knee's in here. It's together, okay? And that'll make more sense when you do it. But it's tapping your foot out, tapping your foot and knee out, not here, okay? It's gonna really burn those quads. And again, if you don't want to use a resistance band, you don't have one, this will burn on its own. I promise you, your quads will be on fire. <laughs> Okay, we go in 10 seconds. Put on your resistance fan, I'm using my medium one. And let's go. Step it out, step it in. Knee and foot together. One, and your foot isn't sticking out here. Just doing toe taps is super easy, right? We don't wanna do that. Knee and foot together, go out. your hips are staying low they're not sticking up here knees are hovering over the ground for three two and one just breathe so in that bear position you're in a tabletop your hips aren't sticking up it's just hovering right here abs are in tight for three two one let's go again round two it's only 30 seconds this is really hard, just hold it, okay? Whew, it burns, I know. Your quads are feeling it, upper body, your glutes for sure, abs. Making sure that your legs aren't straightening out, okay? They're staying bent, it's a tabletop. Three, two, and one. Final round, come on guys. So this is definitely like definitely a full body move, but really targeting your glutes and your quads. Your quads have to work to keep your legs in that position. Let's go. See if you can 
go the whole entire 30 seconds without dropping, okay? I know it's tough. I know it's tempting, but you can do this. You only have 20 seconds left. Ten seconds left. Come on, guys. You got this. Hips are low. They're not up here. Knees are just a couple inches over the ground. And relax. Alrighty. So now we have a wall sit. So we worked our quads. Now we're going to work them again. Wall sit. Your back is flat against the ground. Legs at 90 degrees. It burns. Um, you can hold a weight here. I'm gonna try to hold a weight, you know? I'm gonna challenge myself, okay? Challenge yourself, people. So often I find myself being like, oh, I'll go easy, but no. You wanna challenge yourself. Be careful, listen to your body, but challenge yourself, okay? Now grab your weight or without weight, and let's go. And just hold it here. It's just a still move. Nothing really happening. Quads will start to feel it right away though. You'll love me for this. And legs are nice and low. They're not, you're not up here. It's at 90 degrees, okay? 10 seconds left. Back is on the, two, your back is flat against the wall. For three, two, and one. Slide down the wall. Shake out your quads. Two more rounds. You can do this. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. And just hold it. It's okay. I know it burns. I'm here with you, but you can do this. You have 15 seconds left. Just hold it. If you need to drop that weight, if you're holding on, that's okay. You can do this though. Three, I'm sorry, five seconds. I'm sorry, that was terrible. Three, two, and one. Ouch. All right, final round. You can do this. No, I'm not being over dramatic. I swear this is tough. All right, come on up and let's go. I'm making all the noise with my sweaty back on the wall. It's fine. Oh, this burns! 15 seconds left. Come on, guys, you can do this. We got this. Just breathe. Five more seconds. Yes, my legs are shaking too. Come on, though. And relax. Oh, my quads are on fire case anyone was wondering. Okay, this next one, more of glutes and hamstrings, less of your quads. Oh, that burned. Okay, so we're doing, guys, we only have like a couple, okay, not a couple. We have, we're nearing the end of this workout. You're doing amazing. That's what I'm just saying. You're doing amazing. So with or without a weight, if you have a weight, it's like behind your head or hold it right here. You're going to go good morning to reverse lunge, reverse lunge. A good morning, it's similar form to a deadlift, it's just the weight, the placement of the weights that's different. So your knees are bent, hips are sticking out, back is flat, weight is up here, you come down, you squeeze up, okay? It's very similar to a deadlift, a deadlift your weight is just here instead. So good mornings are gonna be harder, so you definitely wanna go lighter, okay? I'm going to use a 15, I think, and we go in five seconds. So you can have one or two dumbbells, and let's go. So good morning. Good morning. <laughs> if this is morning when you're doing this, and two lunges. I know I said this wasn't a lot of quads. It normally isn't, but when your quads are tired, any lunge it just is death. <laughs> Nice flat back. You have 10 seconds left. Relax. Whew. OK, 
Okay, make sure to grab water. I'm not doing it enough, but in between sets, in between circuits, grab that water. All right, let's go. Round two. Make sure that those knees are bent. I don't want you to pull a hamstring or pull something in your low back. Your knees are bent, really squeezing your glutes on the way up. Three, two, and one. I'm just so dead. I feel like the wall sits just killed me. So these lunges are really working my quads. But final round. Put that weight up and let's go. Squeeze your glutes and hamstrings. You're doing great. Keep going. 10 seconds left. Lunge, lunge, and good morning. My quad still felt it, but I felt like it was a bit of a break. Okay, so this next one, I'm really excited about this one. It's a lot of fun. So, we're going to be doing a pulsing side lunge ladder. So, in a side lunge, you're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and just keep going up. And like it's gonna, you're gonna build up on each other. So round one, so you get to five pulses. Round two, you pick up from five, go to six. Okay, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Again, you don't have to use weight. Um, I think I'm going to though. So just breathe. It's a really good one for your glutes. You're really gonna feel it. I promise you. So I'm gonna grab my 20. I think for this one. And we go in five seconds. Just shake it out. Relax. All right, now go. So, two pulses to start out with, and then just go up from there. I'll let you concentrate on your counting. <laughs> So whatever number you got to, now we just go up from there. You got to five, you got to six, four, whatever it was. Just pick up from there. All right, let's go. It really does burn when you're holding it. seconds come on you can do this stay and hold three two and one Ooh. shake it out really want to make sure that your feet are wide enough for you to do this properly so if they're right here and you're trying to do a side lunge but you can't really get down it's not gonna work it needs to be wide okay grab your dumbbell let's go and make sure that knee is pointed out. Get nice and low. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay guys, we only have two moves. We are so nearly there. All right, three pulse lunge to a front lunge. So, we're gonna go right here and go reverse lunge. One, two, three, front lunge, go back. Okay, so really burning this leg, but then you have that break as you switch to the front. So the first round, we're gonna do right leg, second round, left leg, third round, we alternate, okay? I'm gonna grab 
my 15s, we will start with that and see where we feel. We go in seven seconds. Three pulse reverse lunge to a forward lunge. Let's go. One, two, three, step forward. Seconds left. Three, two, and one. That front lunge is not pulsing. I forgot about that. I wanted to pulse at the front too, but no, it's just the front lunge. The reverse lunge is the pulsing. Okay? We go in five seconds. Other leg now. Let's go. Reverse lunge, three pulses. Come up, forward lunge. Ten seconds left. Three, two, and one. All right, alternating now. So you're gonna go one, two, three, front, switch. Okay? It's not that complicated, I promise you. Three, two, one, let's go. Once you do that forward lunge, lunge just switch your legs. Seconds left. Come on, guys. Three, two, and one. Relax. Okay, guys. Final move. You're gonna kind of hate me for this one. We have squat hold with heel lifts. Okay. So, you know, squat. Just hold it here. And do heel lifts. Now, I know this is tough, so if you're more of a beginner, need that modification, that's okay. Um, either just hold the squat, and if that's even hard, do squat, come up, heel lift, and just do like a modified jump squat. You're still going to be engaging muscles. If you can, try to hold that squat for a few seconds at the bottom. It will really burn those muscles, but if you can, I encourage you to just hold it with me and try to do those heel lifts. It will make you so much stronger, okay? We go in five seconds. I'm gonna do body weight lifts for the first round. And let's go. So just lift and lower. As you can see, like, nothing's changing. I'm not standing up and doing this. Everything's still in a squat. I'm just lifting and lowering. Make sure it's controlled. That was kind of not controlled. <laughs> you have 15 seconds left. Let's just lift it up, control down. Five seconds, get a little bit lower, and relax. Okay, and we have two more rounds. It's just one minute of work left. 30 seconds, two 30 second circuits. You can do this. Okay, let's go, hold that squat. Lift and lower those heels. Don't let your heels come out like this. It's just straight up and straight down, okay? Woo! This is a tough one. <laughs> oh, this burns. Come on, guys. Five more seconds. Get a little bit lower for me. Three, two, and one. <sighs> It burns, doesn't it? I know. Shake it out. Final circuit, final round, final 30 seconds. We can do this. Three, two, one, let's go. Guys, you are so nearly there. Don't give up yet. You only have 20 seconds of work left. So just keep working those legs, lifting and lowering those heels. Come on, guys. 
I know it burns, but you can do this. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Whew. Guys, yeah, I made it to your cool down. Whew. Just breathe. Let's head to the ground for a little stretch. First, let's just start off by pushing into a lunge and just relax. Relax this hip flexor. Guys, I'm so proud of you. You finished that workout. I'm feeling so strong, so proud of myself. And now it's time to just relax those tired muscles. Alrighty, pull in the back leg and feel a stretch in your quad. We worked these so much. We had wall sits, lunges. My quads are always get so sore, so tight. So it's really good to just stretch them out. And I want you to hold these stretches as long as you need to. So if you need to pause the video and just hold it for a little bit longer, that's totally fine. Or if you'd like a longer stretch, I will have one linked on the screen. I'm so proud of you guys for finishing this workout with me. It was a tough one, but we did it together. We pushed through. So now we can relax. All right, push forward and feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Relax. I definitely felt it in my hamstrings today. Some of those good mornings and glute bridges. Really good feel it. Just relax over that leg. Feel that stretch. Alrighty. Now I want you to go into a little pigeon pose for your glutes. Just relax. This one, I always love a good pigeon pose. And after a leg workout, this is definitely needed. If I could hold this for five minutes, I would. It feels so nice. You can just relax. You don't have to do anything and just relax and sink and melt into the stretch. And I'm so proud of you, though, for finishing. And you, know, you should be proud of yourself. It's so easy to keep telling yourself that you can't do something, that, oh, I, I, even if I tried, I couldn't. But just proving to yourself, you showed up today, you worked your hardest, you finished the workout with me, and we feel so amazing. That just goes to show that you can do it, that you do have strong legs. And I'm so proud of you for finishing. Alrighty, switch sides, starting with that lunge. I love how this workout is totally like if you are a beginner, if you're more advanced, anyone can do this workout. It's so easy to just add on weights, add resistance, resistance bands, or just weight resistance. It's so easy to do that and you can make it so much harder. So if you're starting out where you don't have a lot of equipment, you're more of a beginner, or if you don't have a lot of equipment and you're more advanced, there are options throughout the workout. Pull on that back leg. So things like the pulsing and the jumping, it really does add a lot. So if you don't have a lot of equipment, don't worry. I got you. <laughs> you can still have a good workout. You and without equipment, just adding some pulsing, doing small things. It really changes up and move. It makes it a lot harder. Relax. This stretch always gets me. It's like so nice, but also it's kind of painful because of how sore my quads are. Just relax into it. Great job, guys. Push into that hamstring stretch. And don't forget to stretch tomorrow or whenever you feel sore. Just doing taking five, 10 minutes out of your day for stretching is so good. And it prevents muscle injuries and soreness. It's so important and often neglected. So it's really good to take the time to stretch. All right, pop into that pigeon pose. So not just now, I know right now we're stretching, but tomorrow when you're sore, you're like, oh my goodness, I'm so sore, and you rather just complain about the workout. Instead, take a time, just drop down. If you, you know, change it to some leggings, drop down, do some stretches, and it just helps so much to release those tired, sore muscles. So it's really, really important. So don't skimp out on the stretches. Now it can be easy to, especially when we're in a hurry, but don't. Take the time, take care of your body, and stretch it out. But guys, that is it for today's workout. I am so proud of you for finishing with me. I feel strong, and I hope you do too. My leg's a bit shaky, but strong. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post videos on Tuesday and Saturday, a bunch of different fun workouts. So if you would like to check some of those out, just go to my channel. I have like 
probably over like two or three hundred workouts at this point and I've only been going for like less than a year but I really am passionate about giving you guys workouts that you can do and just have fun with them actually I've been going for more than a year I don't know why I said less than a year it's been a little almost two years actually but I am really passionate about giving you guys workouts that are fun that are all levels and really great to adapt to different situations so don't forget to subscribe and go check out if you feel like I have a little bit more in me I could do some more I have like a whole 15 minute workout playlist 5 to 15 minutes so if you want like a quick 10 15 minute workout go through there there's a bunch of fun workouts and you can really see the variety that I have in my channel and don't forget to subscribe because I post work new workouts twice a week and you're gonna love them but yeah guys that is it for today's workout I hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time for another awesome workout Bye guys!